Well, Ken Calvin, we're glad you're here. Grab your song book and let's turn to page 189. Page 189, let's all stand. I don't, I can't think of any better way to start off than just telling the Lord how much we love Him. We serve a wonderful Savior, don't we? Now listen, y'all need to loosen up. I know you just ate good food. It's the first night. But it's all right to say amen. amen. Worship the Lord. Lift Him up. Let's, uh, let's lift our voices and sing to Him tonight. Oh, how I love Jesus. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing His word. It sounds like music in my ear.
And I'm thankful that they were willing to come and give us their week. It's got to be it's got to be difficult to walk in and and see what the Lord had been doing for so long. And come in and see that this is where my son was. And so I'm I'm thankful that we get to we get to have them and that we get to have you. Amen. And uh, I'm hoping that the Lord will meet with us as uh, as we get into the services here this week. Let's open the Lord of Prayer together, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, I, I thank You for bringing so many people in here safely. And, and uh, Lord, we know the devil has been fighting hard. You know better than we do. And trying, trying to stop what we know that You want to do in Your people's hearts. I, I pray that You would please speak to hearts. And, and help us, Lord, to put off all the distractions of the day, all the things going on at home, all, all the things at work and life. And Lord, help us just to be able to tune in to Your Holy Spirit and Your Word for a little while. Lord, I pray that You'd be able to do Your work in us. Lord, I pray that, that You would convict hearts. I pray that You would comfort hearts. I pray that You compel us to do the things that we know we ought to be doing. Or, or Lord, call us to the things that we haven't yet surrendered to. Lord, meet with us this week. We pray this as we ask it in Jesus' name. And Amen. You can be seated. I want to read to you, if I could, a passage of Scripture. When, I, when the Lord made it clear to us that He wanted us to come uh, to Calvary Baptist Church, I've been the pastor now since February, and so I'm pretty green. Uh, wet behind the ears, I guess they say. And, uh, but when, when we came, I, I saw the, the foundation of what God had already put here. And you know, we can't build on any other foundation than that which has already been laid, which is Jesus Christ. And so, you know, we're just stewards. Preachers are just stewards of God's work and what He has called us to do. But it's all His work. And when I came, it was my desire for our church to be focused continuously on the Lord. And so, this may not necessarily be a normal thing, but my very first Sunday, we had a vision Sunday. And I wasn't going to do that, but boy, the Lord laid it on my heart that the people have had a vision Sunday every year. And you come in February, it's a little bit late to have a vision Sunday. But I really just wanted to lay some groundwork for what my desire is for our church. And it's the same thing for Camp Calvary. I'm going to read to you Colossians chapter number 1 and verse number 16. The Bible says, For by Him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by Him and for Him. And He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. And He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things He might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in Him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of His cross, by Him to reconcile all things unto Himself, by Him I say, whether they be things in earth, or things in heaven. The theme for our church this year has been by Him, for Him, and in Him. It's, it's my desire that all things be done by His power, be done for Him and for His glory, and be done in Him as we walk in Him and dwell in Him. And that's my desire for this week. A lot of people have put a lot of work into Camp Calvary over these 50 years. But it's always been God's work. So I hope that this, this week, even though we're celebrating a little bit the 50th year, that we'll remember who it was that started this whole thing and who it is that has always met with us. Amen. And so give your heart to the Lord this week, would you please? Amen. Let Him speak to you. Let Him speak to you in the songs. Let Him speak to you in the preaching. Oh, just, just, let, just let this week blow your doors off. Amen. I know God wants to work in you if you'll allow Him to do so. Now I know we opened the service with prayer, but I want to do something else if we could this evening. I know this has been a tradition for us and, and something that I think is a good tradition. If I could please, I'd love to ask all of the men, if you would please, to, to leave your seats and come forward and gather around the altar if you're able to kneel. And let's ask the Lord to bless this week. And ladies, if you would, pray with us. If you just stay there uh, in your seats and pray with us together. And let's ask the Lord to bless us here this evening as we get into the week of revival meeting.
tonight to be able to be in the house of the Lord, Father, to meet here with people that have come desiring the presence of God, desiring to have fellowship with other believers. Lord, tonight, there's no doubt that there's a hunger and a thirst in this place after righteousness. And God, we pray tonight, Lord, that we would be filled. Lord, filled with the Holy Spirit of God, filled by the Word of God. I pray, Lord, tonight, God, that you would allow hearts to be softened as just as there are those that are hungry tonight to be satisfied by the Word of God. I'm sure that some of us tonight, God, have walked in this place not quite ready, not quite expecting anything. And Lord, we just ask God tonight that any hard hearts would be made tender, and God, that you would draw us into a deeper walk with Christ. Lord, we pray for those who are not saved tonight. God, surely in this room tonight, someone is without Christ. Maybe even now they're doubting their salvation, Lord. Maybe they have had professions that they've made before. But God, I pray tonight, Lord, that as you begin to speak to people through the preaching of the Word of God, that there would be great conviction of sin. And Father, it would be a wonderful thing tonight to see you save somebody. It's been beautiful, Lord, the last few weeks and months to see people walk aisles and get saved. And Lord, I believe that you can do that again here this week. And Lord, we ask tonight, God, that above all, Lord, that the name of Jesus would be magnified. Lord, we need we need refreshing. We need the presence of God. Lord, we know when the presence of God is in a place and we know when it is not. God, I pray that you'd help us tonight to have understanding and wisdom, Lord, to be able to participate, to know, God, what you're doing in our midst, to be able to receive the word of God. And I pray, Lord, that you would do a great work to strengthen Calvary Baptist Church tonight, that you would do a great work to strengthen the others that are here visiting, the pastors, the missionaries, Lord, the evangelists. God, I pray, Lord, if someone here tonight is tired and weary, God, I pray, Lord, tonight that they would experience a genuine touch of God and a genuine revival. Lord, I pray that maybe some who have been discouraged and ready to quit, Lord, that you would refresh them tonight, Lord, that you would take them to that special place of Psalm 23, that green pasture and that still water. Lord, I pray tonight, God, that Christ would be magnified. We want to see you tonight. God bless these preachers as they preach. Bless Brother Daniels. He leads us in these songs. I pray, God, that our hearts, Lord, would be warmed. Father, that we would seek you with our whole heart tonight. God, you promised that we would find you if we did that. And we pray, Lord, tonight that that prayer would be answered in Jesus' name. Amen. As we make our way back to our seats here, we'll have Brother Daniel Waters come and, and uh, lead us in another song here this evening. All right, page number two there in your songbook, page two. Let's all stand and say glory to his name.
Page 19, when I see the blood. Thank God for the blood. Amen.
I can't remember a time when I didn't know John 3.16 or Jesus loves me. Yes, I know, but it wasn't real. It wasn't in my heart. And I'm glad I came to the place one day where I realized it's not about, not about what I was doing or being a good person or any of those things. It was about what Jesus did on the cross. And I'm glad for that day when I trusted in Him, His blood. And I'm glad for the coward. I'm glad He bled and died and did what I could not do. I'm glad he got the job done. Amen. I'll handle it all and he did a good job with it. Amen.
You know, I, I'm, I'm getting to know the preachers. And one of the things that I really wanted to do this year is make sure that we bridge the gap between what the work has been in the past and what we want the Lord to do in the future yeah. by bringing back a lot of the, the fellas that you all know and uh, that, that have been used by the Lord uh, here at Camp Calvary. 